This is an actual U.S. Air Force pilot survival vest designed to keep a pilot who's ejected or bailed out of his aircraft and landed behind enemy lines alive and returned to friendly forces. This isn't the only kind of pilot survival vest. There's many kinds and different kinds of configurations and vests. It just depends on the military unit and how they've put it together in the type of aircraft. But this is one of them. And it's a real one. It's not put together. It's not a facsimile. It's not made up. It is a fully stocked, well, kind of fully stocked pilot survival vest from a particular flying military unit. I say kind of fully stocked because it will always add different things to the vest according to the terrain and the certain tactical situation as the case may be. Now the people that put this vest together are called life support people, at least in the U.S. Air Force. And it's their specialty to know everything dealing with life support. Parachutes, survival vests, and survival skills. And the people who teach survival skills in the Air Force are under that AFSC or that duty title of life support. And they're very good at what they do. They're survival experts. And they live, eat, and breathe it all the time. And many of the people assigned to certain flying units have served as, a, as survival instructors as well before they're allowed to go to a flying unit and maintain and put together equipment like this. So this is just one example. There are regulations that dictate what goes into a vest, but there's a lot of latitude in it too. That each unit can put different things in it as they see fit. So this is the vest itself. We're going to take it upstairs and start going through it pocket by pocket. It's not the end all vest and it's not the best in the world. You'll see some of the equipment's okay, not great, but I think it'll get the job done. Let's get going, going upstairs. Okay, here we are on Nut and Fancy's review table, taking a very close look and tour of one version of a U.S. Air Force pilot survival vest. And again, just one version. There's probably several out there. Just depends the kind of aircraft the dude flies and the military unit and what they put together. Now, a little bit of philosophy. This is a defensive item. In other words, when the pilot bails out, he's in enemy territory. He's not like Rambo running around trying to kill as many bad guys as he can. Nope, he's just trying to egress and evade as effectively as possible to live another day. And the reason I bring that up is because most of the items, actually all of the items in the vest, serve that purpose. So, <clears throat> excuse me, so the pilot can survive, return to friendly forces, and maybe fly another mission someday. Excuse me. Another thing is, I have to back this tripod up really high so you can kind of get a good look at the vest. So I apologize, I'm going to have to be kind of lowering it and making some adjustments to the tripod as we go along. So bear with me as I do that. Also, a little bit on uh, the flying unit this vest came from. I'm not really going to say anything about where I got the vest. Just rest assured I have lots of professional contacts, military and law enforcement, and I have access to stuff. So. I can't tell you what kind of aircraft it came from, I can't tell you what kind of unit it came from, I'm just not going to. About the only way I can share this information with you is if I keep it very generic and very anonymous. So please appreciate that fact and maybe we can do some more of this in the future if we abide by that rule. But rest assured this is a real deal just like everything I bring you, it's not made up or put together. So let's start first by talking about the vest itself. Um, the vest is by Ultimate Survival Technologies. This is a survival company that makes some very innovative products. They do really high quality stuff too. They mostly tailor to military and law enforcement contracts. They do have or they do have a part on their website. I think it's ultimatesurvival.com that's uh, open to civilians as well. So you can kind of check out their stuff. This is a purpose-built survival vest, to the best of my knowledge. And it's probably the best vest of its type I've ever seen. And I've worn and used a lot of survival vests in my military career. So I've had a little bit of exposure to it. The thing I love about the vest is that it's built on mesh. So as much as possible, it's breathable and it's as light. The vest itself is as light as it can be. That's one good thing. Another thing is that it has all kinds of cool pockets that can be transferred all over the face of the vest. Now, I did say mesh. Now, where the vet, the pockets attach actually has a Cordura or polyester fabric backing on it. Really, he Not super heavy duty, but heavy enough. 
And the system that the uh, Ultimate Survival Vest uses is it's a slide lock system. And so you slide, each pocket has these uh, attachments to it, and it slides and locks in with a locking tab here. And then the unit that put this vest together, and I think most survival units will also tack it with some very strong thread. That way it will not come unlocked and you won't go dumping all the contents your pocket out or leaving your pocket in the jungle as you're booking away. So that's a really good job. A lot of different size pockets. They can go in different places around the vest. Uh, it also has some interior pockets, which I'll show you as the review goes on and has an adjustability factor with shoulder straps on it, Velcro. And on the very back, again, as we go on, I'll show you more of this, is a backpack. So that's really cool. Great vest. It's a great foundation for a survival kit for a pilot because we can don this underneath our parachute. And that's about the most gear you can carry underneath the parachute is with a vest. So what do you say? Let's get going looking at the pocket contents and we'll talk about stuff as we go. First off, we're going to talk about this pocket and off to the races. I've already unzipped it and by the way as we go, the review is probably just going to be kind of messy because uh, I can't take time to put everything back in the pocket while the camera's going so we're going to have a lot of crap hanging out. But that's pretty much the only way to make this work I'm thinking. Now this is a signaling pocket. Uh, first, a little bit of some philosophy. When we bail out, our first and foremost priority is to get rescued. And so there's a lot of things in the vest that are trying to help us effect a rescue. And this is one of them. Pull the contents out. And the first thing you might notice is that there are strings attached to everything. And this is from the School of Hard Knocks that Air Force survival instructors do this. Because we've learned that through stress, through cold fingers, it's really easy to just lose gear. And once it's lost, it's lost forever. The first thing we pull out is a Pelican Mighty Light AA variety. This is a polycarbonate light. I would rate it as good, not excellent by any means. Um, I have a lot of experience with flashlights, and yes, I will be doing flashlight reviews too when I get time. And it's hard to get time. <laughs> Bear with me. Uh, the things I don't really like about polycarbonate lights, and it's not just Pelican, it's uh, all kinds is I've seen their bodies, i.e. the plastic bodies, fail and crack. Particularly this area at the bottom here just bust right off because of cold conditions. I've had that happen to AA size and AAA size polycarbonate lights with me over the years. So I really don't trust them. I basically hate them. So, but that being said, this is a functional xenon lamped light. I don't look, I'm not going to look the specs up on it because I don't really care, but I would imagine that the, the burn time on this, effective burn time, is probably not super long, maybe two hours before the, the double A's just start flickering on us. Uh, I think a much better option for this would be maybe this TL2 LED. This is my own personal light at the top, and this thing freaking rocks. It doesn't have double A batteries. Instead, it has a CL123 lithium batteries which are much more durable. Now that being said, it doesn't, when I say durable, they store longer and they're just a better storing battery. They also perform much better in colder temperatures as opposed to a regular AA size battery. Now that being said, um, a, a US Air Force survival vest is constantly inspected. In fact, they go through it all the time. They're checking batteries. It's serious business. I mean, this is a life support item and if an item in it fails, someone could die, and that's no joke. So our life support folks are always going through them and checking the battery. So it's less of a player. However, I still think the battery supply on the TL2 by Streamlight is much superior, and overall it's superior. It's an anodized aluminum, 7000 series aluminum, aluminum light. has a xenon LED, which I just showed you. Extremely bright. This lasts at least two hours, probably three and it's just bulletproof. It will not fail. And it does weigh a little bit more than this Pelican. And for the little amount of use the Pelican Mighty Light will see, i.e. in a downed pilot scenario, it's probably adequate. This is probably maybe a little bit overkill. But if I'm in enemy territory, guess what? I want overkill. 
Hey, that's part one. My time's up. Here comes part two of the U.S. Air Force survival vest in just a sec.